Hi everyone, welcome to Hunter Gatherer Cooking. It's all happening in this episode from broken drones to fires to stews to a deer stalk. The day started so, so well. I was so excited. I was borrowing a commercial Land Rover for the day. So we had a bit of a tour of the estate and everything was going absolutely perfectly until I managed to pull this little stunt with the drone and it ended up a bit like this. With a bit of quick thinking from Harry and the use of his shooting sticks, I managed to finally get it down. And then we were on our way again and amazingly the drone was still working. The plan was pretty simple. Drive around this fantastic estate, eventually stop acting like schoolboys, and then settle down, light a fire and start cooking. I wanted to get something going as fast as possible whilst Harry and Tom did their review video. We lit the Swedish log and started some burgers and then eventually managed to get this stew on the go. Venison burgers with Blue Stilton was an absolute winner, but once we'd managed to make sure that the fire was safe, it was time to enjoy the stalk. Now this was new for me because the only guy that I've been stalking with is Matt from Grove Game, so I was really keen to see what the differences would be. So I assumed the position, held back, followed Harry and watched what he did. Somewhere down there was Tom and it wasn't long before we met up with him and the dog. Now, it wasn't too long before we had our first sighting, so I was very excited. So if you missed that, that was Roebuck, not what we're after. But shortly after, look what we saw. This was exactly what we wanted. If you don't want to see the shot, you've got about five seconds to look away. Nice one Tom, great shot. Harry went up and over but the deer ended up sort of going round them so we let these ones go. Hi Nick. Now these are field to fork videos so if you like eating venison this is how it's processed. The idea is to get all that blood out otherwise it's just going to congeal and you don't want that in there. The plan was to leave the deer where it was and come back with the Land Rover later. We had a little look round the estate, but we did see a couple of sightings, but nothing worth taking a shot on. And so with the light dropping really quickly now, we had to head back, pick up the Land Rover and go and find that deer. Now this was a whole bunch of fun. Off-roading at night was even better than off-roading in the day. Now we're not quite at the end of the film yet, but I'm going to take this moment to sort of say thanks to all the support that I get, all the follows, all the comments and all the subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed, please hit that button. I've always got more content planned. We've got the Gralicking at the end of this video and I'm going to show you that stew by the time it was cooked. So with the deer on board, it was time for Tom and Harry to start the Gralicking and they were going to try a new little bit of kit that fitted onto the back of their car. Now I don't know how much of this part of the process you want to see, do you want more or less, let me know in the comments below. Now I also want to point out that I don't think Tom has gralicked like this before, so no nasty feedback, he did a great job. It didn't take him long at all, I think he did a great job, but it was the end of the night. We went back, checked on the stew, it was still there, lovely and warm, perfectly cooked, so we took it back to the farmhouse, and I promised you a final shot, so here it is. Thanks for watching and I'll see you for the next one.